start to lose some hair yet? Or? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's, uh, very stressful, but yeah, just wrapped to get the results for the team tonight. How big was that in the context of the season, in the context of everything that's gone on the last four months? Yeah, it's a good question. Like, I think we've sort of spoken about all year, we've been in a lot of games, we've been close, and we've just had trouble winning, winning games. So. Just a belief it builds. You know, great day for the club. The VFL had a close win too. They, they kicked a goal after the siren. So, yeah, I think it just builds belief that, you know, we're doing some, some things well and certainly need to improve some areas of our game. But, yeah, just a bit of belief for the group. And as you sort of touched on there, Richmond hasn't had the best record in recent times winning the close ones. Was mm. there a particular reason why you got over the line today? Oh, look, ultimately it just comes down to, down to moments late in game. Um, there's a little bit of structure stuff that goes on, but it's just moments. And I thought our guys really, a few of our leaders really stood up late in the game today. Was there anything in particular you did strategic-wise or anything like that? I'd like, to, I'd like to claim some stuff, but uh, <laughs> look, there's always little moves that happen late in games for both teams. Um, and some of it works and some of it doesn't. But, but as I said, a lot of it is just down to moments. What did that final quarter teach you about coaching at the highest level? Uh, it just taught me that you got to find a way to win sometimes. Like there was, we were under siege, we were under the pump. They hit the front, and then you just got to find a way. And our players were able to do that today. Tim Taranto against his former club had a lot of the ball, obviously, yeah. and a big impact on the game. Can you talk us through what it was like for him during the week, and then yeah. how badly he wanted to perform today? Yeah, it's a good question. Like I spoke to Tim about it pre-game today. Just that it's a bit weird to play against your former club to begin with. Um, so he, he, I think I've spoken about it. He gives 100% every every week for the team. And, we got that again from him today, but I'm sure it's, it's just a bit weird, particularly when you know all those guys. Um, it'll just take a few times for him to be really settled playing against them, but I was just wrapped for him that he was uh, able to perform and, and get the win. Jack Rewald, so that's his highest fall since round 18, 2021. Like a lot of people have said that, yeah. you know, it's coming to an end. How happy are you for him that he was able to have such a big impact? Yeah, I, it's a great question. I don't think I've ever met anyone as competitive as Jack. Like he's such a proud person. Um, he's clearly not able to do what he did in 2017, but he just finds a way every week. And he's been really competitive for us. He's, he's playing a role for us. And to be able to get a lick of, lick of the ice cream today was was great reward for him. Can he go on? I mean, like, without Tom Lynch, she's had to be the focal point. Let's keep four in Sydney, four against Melbourne, five today. Like, can he go on next year? Oh, no, look, it's far above my pay grade, mate. That's for Jack and the club to work out. Like, I'm not sure right now. He's just, I know he's really focused on this year and just seeing what happens. The other end of the ground, you can see it's 70 inside 50 mm. today. How impressed were you with the defence being able to hold Mr. Dan that and get the win? We mentioned it to the playing group just then. That's two weeks in a row where, where those guys have been unbelievable. And it's the back seven, but it's also a work rate for mids and backs at times as well. But, yeah, we highlighted our backs. They've been out of, you know, we don't want 70 entries against. It's too many. So we have to find a way to restrict that. But their ability to be able to hold up at the moment has been outstanding. Dylan Grimes coming up with the shoulder walk. Can you tell us about that? Well, he went back on. So that's a good sign. Um, I'm not sure the details of it yet, so we'll work through that during the week. And the uh, player that stood out right in the final moments, as you sort of touched on earlier, was, was Marlon Pickett. Yeah. Um, what can you say about his game today? Yeah, it's a good question. Like, Marlon didn't have a great day. Um, he'd be the first to admit that. There were things that didn't go his way. He was played in a bit of a unique position for him, but speaking about moments, like Marlon had a big moment, and, and he owned his moment um, and was able to finish it for, for us and the team, and, and I'm wrapped for him that he was able to do that. He actually had two big moments, because it was him that delivered the ball to Dion Prestia yeah. for, for that last minute goal. And even the tackle with the last 15 seconds to go. So he maybe had three big moments. And after, you know, not a great game, what Marlon is usually expected, uh, a great result for him to be able to own his moments. And is that part of learning to play a different role, pushing forward more at the moment? Yeah, well, we're just, we're just figuring out what the best look for us structurally is at the moment. And, even though Marlon didn't have a great day, he still provides an amazing contest for, contest for us. So, um, and pressure and speed. So, we're still figuring out exactly what it looks like. Is it relieving for you to get a win? Like it's obviously a unique situation. Here yeah. Coach, how does it feel? Look, it's it's not about me. It's relieving for the club. Um, we were due. We've played some good footy. We we just needed to be, uh, get a bit of reward for the effort, and uh, we we're able to get that today. Shay Bolton, like he might not get as much footy as some of the others, but um, talk about how impactful he is when he, when he does get it. Yeah. He's a special player, Shay. Um, he works really hard. He works on his game. He's, a, he's smarter than people realise. Um, and he, he can change games of footy. So um, he's in a good patch of form at the moment um, on the back of some hard work. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.